Hello Aries and welcome to my channel Attila Tarot. First of all, I would like to thank for all of you who have seen my previous videos uh, that you liked them, watched them and especially if you subscribed. I'm truly grateful for it and I'm very glad that you are back for more. Uh, if you are new to my channel, I'd like to give you a big welcome. Uh, I hope that this reading will be helpful to you. Today we're going to take a look at, at what kind of energies you can expect in the month of July in the areas of love and relationship but as usual this is a general reading so please take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind in the center of your reading you do have the two of cups which is one of the best cards you can get in terms of uh, love and relationship uh, because um, this is a sign that a mutually beneficial relationship is coming into your life if you're single this is a great time to meet somebody and it can be an indication that maybe your soulmate is coming to you. But definitely the relationship that this card describes is something that both parties are benefiting. It is based on respect. It is based on love and taking care of each other. Uh, if you are in an existing relationship, this is an amazing card in that situation as well. Because this can uh, show you that the uh, relationship is getting deeper uh, it is. Uh, it can lead to an engagement or even a wedding, uh, but definitely uh, it's a sign that uh, the relationship is getting stronger, and uh, and you know it is as I said, it is based on love and respect. And for me, the rainbow always indicates something uh, where you went through some uh, difficulties. If that's the case in your situation you're definitely uh, seeing some uh, better times. Now your reading starts uh, with the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles is all about feeling lack, feeling uh, uh, left out in the cold. So for some of you, um, this can be an indication that you might have been single for a while and you've been a little bit challenged to find somebody. It can also be a, a sign that uh, you might be self-sabotaging yourself, you're not feeling enough, you're feeling lack, and uh, you are uh, just feeling generally alone. The other important uh, uh, meaning of this card as well, that um, some of you might be a single parent, and uh, that just kind of impacting you in terms of finding... Uh, a new partner it is making you more difficult for some of you this card can indicate some financial challenges maybe your partner is having some financial challenges but even if you are in a relationship this can this card can uh, show some hard times that the relationship might have gone through or might have been going through um, definitely one of those times when uh, the parties are feeling alone feeling uh, left out and feeling not enough. Uh, it can also be a sign of uh, a relationship that um, that didn't work out. It can be a sign uh, when uh, a relationship ended up in a breakup or a divorce. The next card we have here is uh, the Knight of Cups, uh, which is showing uh, uh, some kind of a romantic gesture coming into your life. Um, Again, this can be a romantic message, a romantic proposal, or asking you to go steady, or if you are in a relationship, uh, making sure, uh, sure uh, that uh, the relationship is getting better, deeper. Especially with the combination of a Two of Cups, there's definitely some marriage proposal or some serious relationship for some of you. Uh, the Knight of Cups can indicate you, it, uh, and it can indicate a person uh, that you are dealing with, or somebody might be coming into your life. Uh, one thing you need to know about the Knight of Cups is kind of like the knight in shining armor, so he's kind of like a very romantic per uh, person, and and brings lots of love. One thing you need to uh, be careful with him that he might be just uh, very dreamy. But you know this is a love reading, so you want somebody who is romantic. And the Knight of Cups is a great uh, card to have in a large uh, in a love and relationship reading. And the next we have here is the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is a sign of stability and uh, long term uh, stability, especially. Uh, as you can see, uh, this is a card uh, that talks about um, 
generations so for some of you if you are thinking about uh, creating your own family uh, this card is a great sign for that uh, it can be also a sign of um, having uh, welcoming children in your life for some of you but uh, this is uh, a card that uh, foreshadows long-term stability long-term success even in relationship if you're single this card is telling you that uh, you're uh, getting into a stable relationship that has uh, that has longevity and stability for some of you this might be a card that indicating that you are uh, getting into a relationship with somebody who is uh, quite wealthy uh, but this card can also be a sign of uh, buying a house or making some kind of a uh, big financial investment together but let's see what are the next cards so next card you have here is uh, the seven of swords the seven of swords uh, for me is always uh, carries a mixed baggage it's a, mix, a mixed baggage because this is the card of lying cheating and stealing so if you are um, some of you might be <laughs> dealing with somebody who is not faith, faithful or you might have dealt with somebody who is not faithful um, so you, you, you need to be a little bit careful when this card comes out if you're single this can card indicate that maybe a player is coming into your life and you need to watch out for the signs and don't get into the games that this person is <coughs> proposing or uh, or get get trying to get you into uh, but this card also can be uh, a card that is telling you to try things differently uh, and, and approach uh, your love life from a different uh, perspective. If you're looking at it, he's not trying to go into the battle. He's stealing the swords because he wants to do things differently. So for some of you, this card may be at a sign that in order to be successful either on your existing relationship or uh, to attract somebody into your life, you need to uh, uh, try new things and let's see uh, the last card in the in this column this is uh, the three of swords uh, which indicates that you've been going through some pain some heartache um, maybe you know due to the lying cheating uh, maybe due to a breakup a previous breakup that you are still um, it's still impacting you um, Whatever the situation, the Three of Swords is always uh, telling us that not everything lasts forever. Uh, after the storm comes uh, the sun, and you do have the rainbow there, right? So I think that's already an indication that better times are coming ahead. But I think this um, heartache, this pain is still impacting you even today. Uh, probably that's why we have here the Five of Pentacles, I think. Um, the Five of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, and the Seven of Swords can be definitely some kind of a breakup due to lying, cheating. But let's see what's going to be the final outcome of this reading. But before that, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This is an indication that uh, the reading helped you. And you can also help me to grow the channel uh, by... Uh, doing all of those actions and for you that's just only a push of a button uh, but i'm always happy to read in the comment what's going on in your life so the next card you have here is uh, the eight of swords the eight of swords can indicate that you are uh, very much in your head uh, so there's certain uh, you haven't uh, you haven't really healed from the negative experience of your life i think those are still keeping you kind of in a prison because you know if you look at it for her it feels like that she is in a prison although her ties are very loose and she can walk out of this uh, sword prison that she created like she created the, this prison with her thoughts with her um, head so you need to kind of think about what is from your past that's still impacting you that's still not letting you go for some of you uh, you might be still uh, mulling over whatever happened in your in your past with this person who was uh, lying or cheating to you and uh, and you need to kind of uh, put that baggage behind um, for some of you if you're single uh, and, 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 and just to go back to the uh, if you're in a relationship, some of you might be feeling that you are in a relationship that you don't see the way out of it. 
again, there's always a way out. So, so try to think about um, what can you do. Uh, and uh, if you're single, this card can be a sign that you might have uh, lots of expectations from a love coming into your life to make you happy. Uh, so try to make yourself happy first before uh, trying to get a relationship make you happy. Uh, and the next card we have here is the Ace of Wands, which is a, a card that is indicating that a new beginning is coming into your love life. This is a new spark, uh, a new attraction that can uh, turn into something amazing. It's definitely, uh, I, I feel, uh, the chemistry, the sexual connection, but you know, you do have the Two of Cups as well, which indicates the emotional connection. So uh, the, whatever the Ace of Wands brings, it's a, it's a new start, uh, which can be a new beginning, uh, a new relationship, but it can be also a, a great sign in an existing relationship because you're able to uh, relight the fire that uh, the relationship is needed uh, to, re uh, to relight that spark that the relationship was based on and you're able to bring some new adventure to the relationship. And let's see uh, the last one, uh, which is uh, the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is uh, the card that's all about stability and security. Uh, so for some of you, this can be, uh, if you're in an existing relationship, you might be in a mature relationship where you are um, enjoying the fruits of uh, this relationship. It can be also a sign that uh, your partner is supporting you fully uh, to achieve um, the goals uh, that you are trying to pursue. Uh, but if you're single, this card is telling me that you are actually enjoying to be single and you are very picky in terms of who to choose. I think it's very interesting for me that the top of the top row uh, with the five of pentacles seven of swords and the eight of swords uh, kind of telling me that um, i think in your head you're still um, not over this breakup you're still kind of in the prison of whatever happened but in your heart i can see that you are ready for something new ready for a new relationship that's based on love and chemistry and, uh, and in your subconscious, there's definitely the stability and still uh, the heartache is, is impacting you. But when you look at uh, the bottom of your deck, you do have the lovers, which is uh, the stronger version of the Two of Cups, uh, the soulmate energy, uh, when uh, the balance, the uh, uh, real relationship. So I think you do have a chance to... Uh, have a great relationship coming into your life. Uh, I think you just need to uh, figure out how to let go of the past. Uh, so, dear Aries, that's all I have for you. I hope that this reading helped you and I'll be able to welcome you again. Good luck.